Uh, we want you with us as we build up through another huge day of football here on Five Live. But before that, our first commentary of the day, kicking off at 1.30, Nottingham Forest taking the trip to Everton. Uh, a point between them. Everton 16th with a game in hand still. Forest 17th, only a point above the drop. Of Helped, of course, by Luton's big loss to Brentford yesterday. Burnley also beat bottom side Sheffield United, so they're two points behind Luton now. Our commentary team are in place at Goodison Park. Chris Coles and Paul Robertson. Hello to you both. How are we? Afternoon, Katie. Very well, thank you. Good afternoon, Katie. Very well, thank you. Yourself? How's Wembley? Oh, do you know what? It's not bad. I was thinking about you earlier, Paul, because the last time we were at Goodison Park together, we had to sort of do a makeshift situation just so you could get your legs in under the table, <laughs> didn't we? We've got a little more space here pitch side at Wembley, I won't Well, lie. look at you. I'm in, but I'm not sure how I'm getting out. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? We don't need to worry about that yet. Um, Chris, uh, you joined us earlier with team news, so just give us a reminder there. Yes, four changes for Everton from that 6-0 hammering at Stamford Bridge by Chelsea. And the big change concerns the two centre midfielders, Amadou Onana and James Garner, the former Forest midfielder. They were both taken off at half-time of that game. And they both miss out today with Andre Gomez and Idrissa Gay coming in for both of those. Seamus Coleman injured, so he misses out. Ashley Young reverts to right back. Jack Harrison comes into the midfield. And Dominic Calvert-Lewin returns missed the game against Chelsea having ended that 23 game goal drought he scored two in his last two so Everton very pleased to have him back in the side Forrest two changes from a two-all draw at home to Wolves Andrew Omobamideli in the back line is replaced by Musa Niakate Forrest who struggled badly with defending set pieces against a team in Everton who really profit from set pieces. So perhaps that is a change with that in mind. And Nico Dominguez comes in for Ryan Yates in the centre of midfield. Anthony Elanga is back on the Forest bench. And we'll be deep diving into set pieces in a minute. But, Paul, just your thoughts there then on, on the Everton changes. Fairly inevitable considering what happened at Stamford Bridge? 